Okay, so it's now eight o'clock at night, um, and uh, I couldn't get this off my mind. The nozzle ending here that I did today, uh, I'm just not happy with it. Um, the reason why I'm not happy is obviously the molten plastic is going to be injected under load and you need to hold it under load while it sets. Um, and my concern is that uh, unless I get a really snug fit between the tip of the nozzle here and the port where that meets up with the mould, um, if there's any room for uh, the plastic to escape there, it's not going to hold pressure. I'm assuming, because again, I've you know, not used or had any, any experience with plastic injection moulders. So I'm thinking that possibly the, the conical shape here m maybe isn't the best and I had an idea um, what I've set up here in the drill press and seems to take me forever and a day to bloody get this all measured up and level and I'm assuming it's okay. Um, I'll see if I can see, let you see what the setup is here. So basically what I've done is I've turned the table on its side I've taken my cross side vice off. I'm actually using the top plate off a bike carrier to hold this bar in place on the table and I've got two G clamps here holding it on. And I've also obviously taken the uh, a spirit level here and make sure it's level this way and this way and such. And then up here what I'm doing is I've, what I've got here it's a, a 20 millimeter carbide tipped hole saw and what I did was I take, I've taken the, the drill bit that normally sits in the center of that, I've taken that out um, the gap inside here so I can get my small finger up in there so you know it's, it's I measured it at roughly about 13 millimeters so I'm thinking if I can if I can spin this up and then bring it down and work it down, I should end up with should should end up with a, a nice neat cylindrical shape that I'll do maybe five, six, seven mil long um, with the hole in the center. Um, that's obviously then going to be a lot easier for me to replicate a matching port on the mould um, and if worse comes to worse what I can do is put a, a rubber o-ring over the base of that so that you know when it comes down and slides into the hole for the port uh, remembering I'm gonna have a second uh, air ram and the one that I've decided to use for this uh, has gone for a wander Somewhere, I did have it here somewhere. Here it is. Okay. So this air ram here, what's actually going to happen, uh, imagine that in the up position, um, in the frame that holds the injection nozzle straight up and down, this will be mounted in there. Um, this ram has a travel of something like uh, 35 millimetres. So what I'll do is line the point of this up with the hole in the mould and then before I inject I'll bring this down this will then force this point into the mould and if I've got a rubber ring around there that's then going to seal under pressure and hopefully hold. So like I said what I'm hoping to do here is bring this down and form a nice neat hole. I've got nice neat cylinder. I've got this as rigid as I can get it um, under these conditions I suppose. Let's put a bit of lube on there. I've got the drill press set at a fairly slow speed. I'm just going to bring that down and uh, hopefully we'll get a result. Let's see how we go. I'll bring you in a bit closer so you can see this.
might have actually worked. ended up with quite a nice cylinder as I'd hoped actually that worked out quite well um, there is a lip obviously around here from the original conical shape now I'll probably work that down just with a with a burr on the die grinder um, I'll see if I can get this out I'll give you a better look right there here we go there's that so there you can see inside there we go I think that's worked quite well. I quite like that under the circumstances. So that gives you a good look at that. I'm quite happy with that. I think that's going to work. Quite happy with that indeed. <laughs> 